Brought to you by paid sponsorship for Helena's Guide to Monster Hunting. How dare you trespass on the standing stones? <laughs> Groovefather, great carcass that roams the roots of the world tree. We beseech, <laughs> we beseech thee. <laughs> oh shit, Gorm! You're gonna pay! Skank, let's get it! Skank? This is probably a good time to tell you your simulacrum. No, Skank, what are you doing? Alright, this no, is what happens when you don't do listen this. to me. See you in hell. We can... Boop! Okay, so this is what Rope Trick does. You cast it on a rope of up to 60 feet long, the rope extends into the air until vertical, and then creates a portal to an extra dimensional sanctuary, which you and seven of your closest, medium or smaller sized friends, can climb up into and hang out in for up to an hour. Spells and attacks cannot cross through the portal, but it's a great way to hide, cast longer spells, rest if your DM thinks six seconds short of an hour is enough of a short rest, heal up in the middle of a really rough fight, split move to fire arrows at enemies, but that one's kind of cheap bullshit, but it's doable. And technically, rules as written, you probably could even nest rope tricks, but DMs from 3.5 might tell you that you've torn a hole in reality and shunt you into an astral plane, even though it's only really items which create extra-dimensional spaces that can't be nested in each other for those reasons. If the rope is pulled into the extra-dimensional space by creatures that are already inside, him, boop! Skank, no! You were like a father to me! The entrance becomes invisible to the outside world. Oh yeah, I also don't see anything in here that says that enemies can't get into the portal if there's enough space for them. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Huh. I guess he was the original. Where's my simulacrum? Well, anyway, speaking of mistakes, last week's video was wrong. The DM can choose your specific conjured animals raw, so D&D &D isn't broken. Thanks for watching this animated spellbook brought to you by the mispronounced word Extra Dimensional and the following paid sponsorship. Helena's Guide to Monster Hunting is a Kickstarter by Loot Tavern for a massive tome filled with incredibly illustrated monsters, adventures, new spells, magic items that can level, cards, a crafting system, and more to make your 5e hunts fucking awesome. Also, there's a Monster Tamer class. Links in the description, it comes out June 1st, check it out.